Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's talk about pure rolling motion. And uh, the idea is if you have a wheel that is rolling along, can we relate the speed of that wheel to the angular speed of its rotation? And so the idea is this. Let's take a wheel and let's roll it along and it's moving along at speed V. Okay, we know that as it's rolling, it also has rotational speed, angular speed, omega. Now, there's sort of an interesting thing that happens if you take a LED and you put it right on the wheel. If you take a photograph of a wheel rolling by with the LED on the edge, so you get a time-lapse sort of picture, a long exposure picture, what do you see? Well, it turns out you see something that looks like this. Okay, and it repeats itself over and over again. And that sort of pattern is called a cycloid. And if I think about the LED going up and then back down to the ground, and I ask the question, what is the speed of the LED relative to you standing there with your camera? What would you say? Well, when it's on the ground here, the speed of that LED is zero, right? It's right up against the ground. Now, when it's up at the top of the arc, on the top end of the wheel, what is its speed relative to you? It turns out the speed up there is 2V. If V is the speed of the wheel itself, then when it's up at the top of the motion, it is 2V. And so this LED goes from 0 to 2V to 0 to 2V to 0 to 2V, to zero to 2V over and over again. And the average of that is, of course, V. Now, how does rolling motion relate to this angular speed, omega? Well, the speed of the wheel is simply how far it goes in some amount of time, T. Okay. But how far it goes is, let's say, one rotation of the wheel. If it's one rotation of the wheel, it has gone 2 pi r, where r is, of course, the diameter of the wheel. And if it does that in an amount of time t, then look what happens. It looks like we have 2 pi, which is radians, divided by t, which is seconds, and 2 pi over t is, in fact, omega. So we're back to our old relationship, v equals omega r. So it's kind of interesting that the speed of the wheel is just related to how fast it's spinning, omega, times the radius of the wheel, r. Okay? That is pure rolling motion. The pure just means it's not slipping. Okay, It's just rolling, staying, stuck to the road as it goes. All right. Hopefully that is clear. If not, come see me in my office. Cheers.